Okay, let's see if I fix this. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful music. AKA my voice. Sorry, everybody. Ugh. So my 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 computer tonight has been uh let's just say difficult as always. Nothing could ever go easily on Spirit Talk, right? Mm-hmm. Will it be? I hope everybody can hear you. Try talking again. Bring the mic a little closer to you. Way too. In my mouth. There is no Carissa tonight. It is just. Me and Mike, uh... You're stuck with me. Sorry. Yeah, so, um, I guess Carissa... Carissa's not feeling very good. Oh, I'm gonna turn down the volume to this thing. Okay, so let's start this over, shall we? <laughs> Welcome to Spirit Talk. As usual, I am your host, Nemo. Today, I am joined in the studio with one of our other investigators, um, Mike. Hi. And you guys uh, heard him a couple of weeks ago when we uh, we did a, what was it, a second, second, like, m mini version of Rutland? Sure. Something. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it was. It was Rutland. N no kidding. No kidding. Like, we, we, Rutland is such the bane to our existence that every single time we talk about Rutland now, we all roll our eyes. Sucks. Mm, goodness. So, we do, so we have a Jan in the room. Let me see, do we have anybody else? We have, a, we have one other person. Ooh, it's a it's a party in here tonight, huh? Exciting. <laughs> one 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 person, that's our party. Exciting. Oh <laughs> so uh so yeah, I guess you know I I wanted to uh, talk about a few <coughs> things tonight uh, regarding the channel, and we revealed uh, a couple of weeks ago the the um, plans that we have kind of moving forward, uh, and we're gonna be looking for more like indoor places than we would be doing like abandoned places i guess mm -hmm. and so um the yeah ellie ellie so anyway so like like i was saying so we um we're gonna be doing more more places that they're going to be more indoor and so the the goal is is that i want to try to get one investigation done a, uh, a month at least so that we can start rolling those investigations out for you guys so that you guys don't have to sit and wait you know for too long between investigations and so we have a couple of places set up for this month one is towards Halloween and the other I guess we can go whenever I have to call him again and find out if we can go in yet yeah and that one is the Clinton train tunnel that we've been talking about for a while and so 
we um we have a house that we had rented for i think uh, a good portion of a night where we're able to get in and do an investigation and that one is definitely going to be a, a fun one and probably one of our more important investigations that we have going on mm -hmm. and so um we where where i know where i'm excited i'm pretty sure you are too at least for the that one house yeah i love anything definitely definitely i i can't i i can't tell you how excited i was when we uh got that call back saying you know yes you you guys can come in and do an investigation and and it was like one of those situations where it was just so you know surreal because we had had so many no's and people just you know either not responding to us or uh telling us no we had one person go a little further than needed which we won't talk about <laughs> oh yeah no that was completely necessary yeah oh yeah you know because god forbid i ask and so we um you know so when when we got the the yes answer for that the particular you know place i i was just you know awestruck and um i guess they started opening their doors to investigators only um i don't think just anybody can rent the house i think you have to be a, a paranormal team um yeah I, I i would have to definitely look into it but we got a yes answer so that's that's all that, that mattered uh we i have floated around the idea of doing the what was it the lizzie borden house because i've gotten a lot of requests for the lizzie borden house uh oh uh but the problem is and i will have to definitely go in and do a little more research on it um i believe that the lizzie borden house has since been bought and i don't think it's a and b anymore i think it's um possibly like a private residence Say. yeah i'll have to look into it but i've gotten that request actually a lot more than than anything that <clears throat> that people have asked us to do and uh we do have some places down south in pa pennsylvania that we want to go to to investigate and you know that that's another one that we have coming up but i don't think we'll probably do that one until what spring yeah that's gonna have to wait until then yeah yeah definitely definitely so jen is there any like reverb off of our mics? Are you hearing like double mics by chance or does everything sound crystal clear? Okay, good, it's clear. Oh yes, 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 that's right. So there's this place um mike on up in vermont okay mm -hmm. and i am definitely going to be looking into it because it's it, it it is it's bizarre okay yeah so this doctor i believe it was a doctor this doctor was so afraid of being buried that when he got put in the ground they basically made like a skylight for him yeah i've heard of that you've heard of it and well not that one specifically but there i've heard of other stories like that there was one i seen i don't remember where it was i'd have to find but um it was a uh a child that died in like the 1800s like the flu that and um the mother was so scared of uh well she was uh scared for her daughter and everything and she set it up so that she was underground but there was stairs leading down to it and there was a viewing window of the casket oh that's that that's that's new i haven't heard about that one because oh. her something to do with like her kid was like afraid of the dark or something like that and oh, being okay. able to see mom and yeah that makes sense so i um 
I'll have to look into that one. Uh, I wonder if that's... I can't remember if it was like in Kithers. Okay, so it's New England. I think so. Ish. I have to find out. Okay. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of bunch of cool places like that. There, but... there was another one I saw where like a um, young kid died and the father set up there. Um, so like a traditional mausoleum. It was like a house, playhouse. Oh yes, I I've seen that. Um, I I think I watched someone do an investigation on that actually. I might have showed you it. Possibly. And it, it looks like a a house. It's a yeah, house. it's a, it's a little little brick house with a little porch and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and then they have like dolls and stuff inside it. Yeah, people visitors offering things. Yeah, yeah. It's there. There are so many cool places like that, and like they... the underground uh, cemetery. Yeah, yeah, the one under that church in Connecticut. That is a place that I would love to be able to get into. And they do. allowed the public to go in freely. I now I wonder if they would allow an investigation team to go in. I don't think. Dropped anything. Yeah, no, 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 no. No, I, I. It's a cemetery. It's open to the public. Yeah, I will have to. Um, I'll have to. I'll have to get in touch with someone from there and find out if. Yeah, it's not far if we can go in after hours and maybe try to get permission for that um Doubtful. yeah worth a shot um but yeah so you have, so, you have, you have to remember it's under a catholic church this is true and, this is true and i don't think they'd really like the idea of a parent <laughs> yeah yeah well but i'll try anyway but that that place in uh in in what do you call it um what was it in in new haven vermont that that doctor's grave that is a place that i actually do want to go and investigate um and even if we don't do like a night investigation uh we you know we could still possibly do uh, a it's daytime still an odd thing yeah there's also the uh the plane crash place oh yeah that's right there's that one too this you know uh when i was looking for places in new england to try to you know drum up some some good content for um you know adfp oh some of these places never came up checking my youtube yeah and it's 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 just it's so bizarre that you um you would think that you know these places would come up on like atlas what is it atlas obscura yeah and they don't they don't and so i wind up um i wind up finding out about some of these places through either through other people or i just so happen to stumble upon something on youtube while i'm watching you know because i do watch a lot of like paranormal shows on youtube and things like that uh and and it's nice i like to see how other you know investigators how how they do their their type of investigation uh and the kind of things that they investigate and it, it's you know i've found so many cool places just because of that and a lot of the places you know they're they're kind of out of our reach uh especially if they're, they're overseas um, unfortunately those two places are like one's in mississippi and one's in alabama oh that stinks that ain't gonna happen well i i had hope um that we would wind up making our way down south at some point i just don't know when that would happen that's far uh i, I don't know if i would want to go that far yeah. down you know maybe north carolina i would love to go to that mine in north carolina that would that would be one of those interesting places to kind of you know hang out around because mm -hmm. we didn't even get a chance to go in it because of covid yeah uh so that it would be really cool to be able to get to go back there and you know maybe get a chance to go into the mine itself wasn't it supposed to be like america's first yeah yeah it was it was something along those lines and then there was that town that we found that was an old mining town yeah and they had since closed the mine because it was considered too dangerous yeah. but a lot of the um like the general store and and stuff, stuff like, like that, that was yeah. still actually open and being ran by the residents of this tiny town they were sweet oh my god yeah they were awesome we um 
we bought these especially i just feels feels weird that it's so nice in this rural little town deep south to a gay couple <laughs> and i'm talking to talking to that old man and he's just shooting the shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's that's and you, and you know they knew. <laughs> oh yeah. Of course they, they knew. They didn't give a shit. Of course they knew. But um it was uh yeah, yeah, there's it, there's a few places that that I like and I'm I'm definitely, you know, excited to try to get us out to them. Uh and we the the way that ADFP uh, has been turning lately, the way that we've been trying to go is we're trying to do a segment all on places in New England, uh, which is, you know, obviously where we live. And so the, the, the places that we're picking are, tr we're trying to make it so that they're, they're still encompassed in New England. Um, and then maybe season two, we might get out and go a little further or branch out um, a little bit more down south. Or maybe even to you know the, the west of us a little bit um i know that there's some pretty good places up in uh what is it uh new york upper, upper state, state new york oh i'm sure and so that's definitely that's definitely an area that's been on my radar and then we have a couple of friends in uh what is it um I want to say, where, where does where does Luke and Angie live? Uh, last time I, Indiana. I thought, but no, uh, no, no. I think they're in Illinois now. Whatever. Uh, yeah. There's some places over there too that I would like to investigate, and um, there's actually quite a few. There's a few in Indiana. The no. End of link. <laughs> There's a few in Illinois, there's a few in Pennsylvania, and there's a few in North Carolina. And so, you know, that there are just, there are so many places, you know, outside of New England that we definitely want to do. And those are going to be hopefully part of season two. Uh, for right now, we've been focusing on, you know, just the New England area because one, that, that, that's our budget <laughs> is there a budget yeah the budget is zero the budget must not exceed 23 yen <laughs> <laughs> and so so yeah so we've been uh we've been pretty busy looking at different places and things like that and so our our goal is to get one investigation done a month at at the least um hopefully starting in the next hopefully starting by next month you know we should have at least two two places done and uh we'll be able to get those out if the house one does actually work out which is the one that you know i, I am the most excited for <laughs> i i really hope we capture something like i know that we go in to disprove a lot of things but you know keep in mind that you know we we are believers in the paranormal obviously uh but the way that our investigation style is is, is we go we go into our our um the houses and the the, the locations at well with the mindset of we're going there to try to disprove and give rational explanations for things and I've said this in the past, but I know that there are a few people in the room that I don't think have I've seen in here before. Uh, so welcome anybody that's new. And so um, we we go in and we try to debunk or I, I don't want to say the word debunk. Um, we try to give rational explanations for why people may, you know, see here or think that a location is haunted. Uh, and if we find evidence that it is haunted, we know that we have done our job and we've done it correctly. Um, so, you know, like, even though we go into kind of, you know, find rational explanations to things, we, we are believers in the paranormal. Hammond Castle, is that the one that's up in Vermont or is that in New Hampshire? No, 
I know, I think that one is on our list. I'm almost positive it's on our list. Uh, yeah, so we have, we, we, we've got quite a few places that we're going to be going to. And so as far as, like, what, um... Oh, this was a nut, that just made me think of this. Castle in the cloud. Jan would know of it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's, there's so many... There's so many places that, um, oh, hey, Teddy. There's so many places that, you know, we, we definitely want to get to, uh, and get to do. And, you know, like we, we do take requests. Uh, it's, you know, if, if people want to come in and, you know, either email us or message us on Facebook or, um, or what have you, you know, we, we are definitely open to, investigating other places that other people may know um obviously within reason you know at some point we do plan on traveling in the future um but for right now we're just we're sticking with new england because it's it's, it's the budget and so um but yeah so we have that house coming up we have the clinton tunnel we have a possible maybe for that place down where I come from, um, which I'm still waiting on the meeting date because we're supposed to go down and, you know, explain why we, we want to go and what we're going to be doing and da, 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 da in front of, you know, the board of selectmen for the specific town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is it's going to. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And be and believe it or not, you know, like I, I, I've gotten a little bit more comfortable behind a, you know, computer screen doing like live streams and things like that. But I do have a fear of public speaking. And so having to go down to this meeting and, you know, talk to people that I don't know and try to explain to them that... You know, this is what we're doing, this is why we're doing it, and this is how we're going to do it. And with, you know, the paranormal and with, you know, paranormal research and investigating and things like that, like, it's it's not an exact science. You know, there's no real way to give definitive answers to things. And I think that's, like, one of the misconceptions that people think that you're going to get, like, a 100% um you know answer on things and you can get close you know and and i have seen some very conf you know convincing you know shows or videos or pictures or um you know what have you on people doing investigations but you know a lot of times even then it's still not definitive you know you still can't say for for certain that like yeah this is this is a hundred percent because there are so many fakes out there oh yeah and, and that makes it hard you know that makes what what we do odd to do because it's you know there there are so many people that you know like to just do hoaxes and some of them they they make it so convincing that when it does come out as a hoax it's like you it's like the the ones that are real kind of get over sh overshadowed because you know someone was like oh well if this person did it and they can make it look so believable and then it became a hoax you know what what makes this one different than that right and so you know it's but trying to explain this to a group of people well, isn't it like imagine them in their underwear or something either <laughs> Imagine you're in your underwear. Or... Imagine that I'm in my underwear. No, I no, 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 no. Whatever. I'll imagine. I'll imagine them as balloons. Whatever the the saying is there. Yeah. That one. Yeah. That that should be fun. That should definitely be fun. I imagine you're in your own in underwear too. <laughs> you know, and see, this is what I deal with, people. This is what I deal with on a regular basis. <laughs> you know, I I got a great team. My boss says the same thing. He, Can you ever be serious? No. 
No. No. No. no I no. can't. <laughs> not you. No, that <laughs> will not. Nope. Not, yeah, doesn't not happen. gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> there's so there's there's I think that in the time that I've I've known you, I think there were only like three instances where you were serious. If I'm being serious, some real sh shit's going on. Yeah. <laughs> So the first was our wedding. Yeah. The Even then, I think I said something stupid to you. I don't remember when, that. When you walked up, I'm pretty sure I said something dumb. <laughs> you would. You I know, would. You would. <laughs> so, but um. Well, you gotta break the tension. Yeah, I know. It could, because it's not you know you you need to break the tension at a wedding. <laughs> what if I <laughs> up? <laughs> but yeah, so. In the other time that I saw you serious was in Clinton Tunnel. Yeah. And then the other time, the, the third time that I saw you serious was at Rutland. Yeah. And so... And probably um, something to do with her, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, this this kid has no, has no filter. Nope. No filter. Don't care. Nope. And so, um... But yeah, so it's it's like trying to explain to a group of people that, you know, and I don't know, obviously, I don't know these people from a hole in the wall. They, they could be believers in the paranormal for all I know. Uh, but it's it's going to be one of those things where if they're not believers, that's where it's going to get dicey. Because I'm going to have to spin it and word it correctly to, you know, convey the point. But to also make it, you know, serious and professional at the same time. And so the, the thing that I've noticed is when I have talked to people, you know, in, in the past when I've communicated with, uh, you know, the place for that house that we're going to be going to and the Clinton Tunnel, I found that if I use... A little more scientific terms and I explain the equipment that we use it tends to hold a little more weight to it well to me also the thing is like if something is like an outdoor place and it's owned by the city or the state and it's not barricaded and there's no posted signs then your first amendment right yeah well there's that forest that no matter how hard I tried to find contact info, I couldn't find it. And so we're just going to go. Yeah. Um, and, and that forest is actually going to be a pretty cool one. I and believe that there's... a matter of explaining to, you know, if officials come and say, where does it say that I can't? Yeah, yeah. And and like the, the, the thing that I always stress to people is, you know... And I know that we have have done a couple of things that kind of break this rule, but for the most part, we try very, very hard to get permission. And mm. if we, especially if it's private property. Well, yeah, then that's different. Yeah, and 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 so it, it's a little more on the difficult side to get, you know, permission from people that. You know they're either private owners of the land like that one that one lady that flipped out on me for whatever reason yeah and so you know there's you know for for whatever reason you know when we contact them a lot of times we are either hit with no people flipping out on us just for asking a simple question of would you allow us and um my favorite one is just being ignored altogether. Oh yeah, you know, because that's, that's that's what I look for when I sit there and I do, you know, hours and hours of research and trying to get a hold of someone for them to be like, yeah, I'm just not even gonna answer you. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. No. And so, but you know, I I stress a lot of you know, if it's public property, it's one thing. 
you know, just follow as much of the rules as you can. Don't be break you know, into a building or something stupid. Yeah, don't do don't do something like that. You know, um, if it's you know public land, you if it's posted to to stay be... out, don't you know? If it's posted, don't come in here after a certain time. Um, and so you know the 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 thing that. I stress to people is when it comes to private property you will never see us go in like, there, there will never be a point that we will go in without permission like you know feel like it shouldn't have to be explained that majority of cemeteries don't want you in there after dusk yep because it's yep. a safety hazard Yep. you could trip over something and hurt yourself and no one's there Yep. yep and so like we've done um in one cemetery uh, but that one was supposedly open 24 hours yeah which you know it, that's how it was posted on the website too yeah um cemeteries are kind of like a, a gray area because in one hand they're technically private property mm -hmm. unless they're owned by the town yeah but then those are also you know yeah yeah and so uh but cemeteries are 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 in my opinion, cemeteries are fun. I love doing cemeteries, mm -hmm. um, just because you know it's 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 something something different, something out of the norm of what we we usually do. You know, because the the focus of what we do as paranormal investigators is the prime focus is abandoned places. You know, places that are not being occupied, uh, you know, forests, um, because there's that one forest, I think, in Shrewsbury that is supposed to be haunted. And I guess there's like some structures still on the premises, but they're not, they're not like the kind of structures that, you know, they don't have any like windows or doors or anything. Like yeah, it's probably just like a foundation. Yeah, pretty much, you know, or the, the outer shell of the building. And so, um, you know, but exercise caution, you know, always exercise caution. And the, the, a lot of times in what I have found, and the reason that I go to such lengths to get permission is, you know, a prime example was is this place here called Belchertown State School. Um, it was an old what do you say asylum kind of probably like where he's that kid yeah well it, it's the the people that were um how how can i put this correctly uh developmentally challenged and the people that were there and and, and i worked a number of years in the human service field and i actually had a couple of clients that did come from Belchertown state school and and the the trauma that they it, it was just unbelievable and so when they closed the doors i think in the 90s i think it was like 97 mm. something like that they closed the doors and it has since sat vacant um and so i had gotten hold of uh belcher town you know board of select men and i talked to someone there and i had asked i said you know is it possible for us to get in the buildings and we got a no answer, but the no answer wasn't due because they didn't want us there. The no answer was because the building was, the well, the buildings were completely unsafe. There was asbestos, there was, um, like, I think lead pipes and- Bring back asbestos. Bring back asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> And so, but it's like, those are, are valid reasons why you wouldn't want to enter a building. And, you know, for my team personally, I would never, ever, ever put my team in harm's way where, you know, we go into a building and, you know, you can have protection on you. You can have respirators and things like that, but that doesn't always make it safe. And so when you talk to people and you get the the knowledge behind you as to why you can't go in you know it starts making sense and the more public places that are, that are like towns and things like that 
um have been very open and honest you know with us like they they the couple of towns that i have dealt with they have had valid and true points and i have problems with private owned land than i do towns which is you would think that it would be the 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 opposite you know you would figure that you would get a little more pushback with towns than you would anywhere else and no, I we get a lot of feedback. Well, um, towns have to leave it as a possibility because, yeah, it's yeah, public property. But um, yeah. So there's there's you know a, a lot of there's a lot of debate, and especially when it comes to like cemeteries, like what we were saying earlier, where there's um, kind of like a gray area with cemeteries. I know that there are places down in Florida that are 24 hours. They have 24 hour cemeteries, but a lot of their their cemeteries are above ground. Yeah, they they have, you know, humongous mausoleums and in, in places like that, which I would love to go down there and, and investigate a couple of those that that would be that would be a blast and that would make for some good content too i'd like to go there just for just for vacation yeah um, well you know what we'll go do an investigation for a couple of days and then we'll uh go on vacation the rest of the time yeah that sounds good that sounds not gonna good. go there just to go <laughs> that's all i do is work remember yeah, i do too but um yeah so so there's 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 that um but you know like i was saying you know when it comes to paranormal research there's no real um it, it's hard to put it into words for people that you know either don't know a lot about it or you know are a little more open-minded but if you don't say things correctly you know, I have seen people become like standoffish. Mm. Uh, and so, you know, that's where, like I said, you know, trying to get permission is one of the safest things that you can do. And that means that uh, there are going to be times where you are going to get told no. You know, you, there, there are going to be numerous no times. Majority of the time. Yeah. Um, but then you're, you're going to get, you know, that one that one person out of 10 that says yes. And then after you kind of get yes answers, um, I've started noticing like a snowball effect where we got a yes answer to Clinton Tunnel um, and we're working with the town to be able to do it. And then, you know, shortly after that, we got permission to go to that house and then we are working with that one town to get permission to go to that that one property and I'm, i know i'm being cryptic here guys but we don't want to let out our uh our secrets just yet we have we have a lot of uh a lot of <laughs> a lot of good places that we want to keep it a surprise uh and so it's like i think once we got that kind of yes answer for a town i think that kind of added more weight to 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 you know our um you know us being legitimized you know that you know yes we're working with a town we are working with a privately owned home uh and they're allowing us to go in to do you know investigation and things like that and so you know it's 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 fun and i gotta tell you too that doing what is it the research behind places that can be very interesting. I'm sure. Ugh, some of the stuff, man. Some of the stuff that I have read. It's like there are some things that you wish that you could just un unsee and unread. <laughs> and and there were a few, especially with that um that one that one house place that we're gonna be going to for a month. Oh yeah. Yeah. There, there's some weird history, like freaky deaky history about it but but we digress mm -hmm. yes so um we actually wanted to talk about something so we had um 
my 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 husband had purchased a, a Japanese altar for uh what was the deity? Um it's going to be for um Nadio Kami. Nadio Kami. And so the the altar that he got was an antique that came directly from Japan. Right and, outside of Tokyo. Yeah, right outside Tokyo. And so I think it came Saka. Saka. Somewhere. But um it uh Ashikaga. Ashika Ashikaga. Hmm. I don't know Japanese. So, um, you know, it, I, I was trying to come up with, uh, with, um, content for Spirit Talk. And when, um, oh, Jan, I'm sorry. I completely missed it. So the Hammond Castle is in Gloucester. Oh, Gloucester. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. You know what? I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna write that down so i don't forget it but um so I'll have to get some fried fish some fried fish or else better to get something okay sorry people i disappeared for a second um so with hammond castle in lost So yeah, so we were talking about, um, I, I was trying to come up with, uh, with, you know, content for Spirit Talk, and a lot of times when we first come on, you know, when, when we first go live, we talk kind of like about random things, you know, like where the channel's going, you know, some of the, the, um, projects and things that we have coming up, and it's kind of become like a staple of Spirit Talk that every every start of the the live stream we usually talk about channel related stuff but as i was talking to him and i'm like i just i'm coming up with a blank like i couldn't think of what what to do for for this week's spirit talk and you know mike looks at me and he goes well when i got my altar and you know you cleansed it and blessed it and you know did all of that before it came into the house because it was a an antique mm -hmm. so it had been a part of somebody else um somebody else's yeah family yeah. and so or what have you yeah yeah business that, could have came from anywhere and so i was afraid because you know i know that some people probably know this some people don't but um you know uh, the japanese are very um hypersensitive in the, in their their lore and you know their uh way of thinking is very uh about you know paranormal you in know well way. in its own in its own way yes so yeah yeah and so um when his altar came you know my my first thought is like oh you know this is an antique this isn't something new like this is something that's probably been you know either handed down or it was part of you know somebody's business or or what have you and, and so it was it was well used yes it definitely was well used and and so um as i'm sitting there thinking about it i'm like well you know you you would brought up the point of like what if something attaches itself to something you know that you buy that might be like an antique and I have actually seen that happen. Yeah, like them investigator people. Yeah. That yep. you, uh, forget their name. Oh, is it the ones that I don't like? No. The, the, the movie people. Movie people? Yeah. The ones from, like, the 70s or something. Oh, the Warrens. Yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and that's another place that I'm trying to get us into. Like, they have a, an entire room because of that. Yep, yep. Things Cult like items, that. yep. Yep. And so, um, 
but yeah that is another place i, I doubt we're, we're gonna be able to get in there but i'm gonna try um but yeah so you know we got on to talking about you know things being attached to you know um what is it in inanimate objects mm -hmm. um and I was nervous to bring this halter in the house and um, I I'm very spiritual I'm a, I'm a very very spiritual person and so I when I had seen that it was delivered you know him and me we go downstairs you know we we collect the, the the package but before we I even let any one of us touch it I use sage to go around it and then you know we we picked it up we saged it more we saged it more um and it was basically to try to break any bond that if there was something attached to it uh that bond would be severed and they wouldn't be able to you know enter the house and so it got me thinking i'm like well you know that is something that i've never talked about here on spirit talk before it's like how to deal with getting objects that are um that potentially have something attached to them and the 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 kind of like scary thing is it, it could be almost anything mm -hmm. you know it could be almost anything and there could be anything attached to it um like those what are they called dibbit dibbit boxes yeah something yeah, yeah. Uh, yes I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, it's one of those boxes that supposedly, like, they put, like, a, a, there was, like, a, a, what is it, a demon or an evil spirit or, uh, what was the other things? You know, I know some of them were, you know, come from, like, the Middle East, and um, I've noticed on... When I when I've searched for them on uh, eBay, um, and I, I never actually plan on buying one. Um, I won't buy one because it's like, I, why well, I look for trouble when <laughs> we we investigate things and we have you know a good chance of something following us as it is. And so, um, but you know they they kind of fascinate me in a way. And so they. I, I was looking for them and I noticed that a lot of them are from Jewish. Mm. Jewish. And I don't know what what's the, the reasoning behind that, but I've noticed that a lot of them have to do with Jewish stuff. Or Middle East. Very bizarre. Mm. But I guess it might be because of their religion. Maybe I Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, um, it, it, it brought up a good point of, like, how do you handle something like that? Like, what if you go to an antique shop and you buy something and and all of a sudden you have, you know, you're, you start having experiences with the paranormal that you didn't have before until that object came in the home. Right. And so, you know, that, that brings in that level of kind of, like, insecurity, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I, I've said, you know, I've heard people say, oh yeah, I threw it out or I, I just got rid of it or I returned it or, you know, what have you. And it's like, it doesn't always work. No. <laughs> you, you know, just, just because you got rid of the item doesn't necessarily mean that the thing is going to be gone. You know, you let it into your home unwillingly, obviously, but you still did. And so, um. It can pick or choose as to whether or not it wants to leave and you know the best advice that i can give to people is is if you feel or think that you brought an object into your home that has something that's a potentially you know hazardous you know when it comes to like the the paranormal or you know hauntings or things like that i my biggest thing that i always say is if you're religious go to your church your synagogue your um you know if you're a pagan your your priest or priest priestess you know your coven if you have one if you're solitary mm -hmm. um you know if you're solitary you probably know how to handle it 
But if you don't, you know, seek out a coven, you know, seek out people that are knowledgeable on it. And and the biggest thing that I can say is if if you are not knowledgeable on the subject of how to cleanse a home, do not try to do it yourself. Right. Because doing that, you, you could upset things and make it worse, um, especially if you don't know what you're doing. And so, uh, and if you're not religious, you know, um, do what you feel is right at that point. You know, like I, I, I have friends that are, um, you know, I have a few friends that are atheists. I have a few friends that they're not anything. I don't even know how to, how to put that. They're not atheists. They're, they're, they just don't believe in anything. And so, nihilists. Um, yeah. And so when it, when it comes down to that, you know, you, you do at that point, what feels right. If you want to turn to religion, you can, if you want to turn to books, you can, um, just know that, you know, you, you should really know what you're doing before you go and try to do something. And so, or if you take like, there was that thing that, that video that you, you saw it too, where those people took like that phone out of that building or something like that oh yeah and it was giving them all sorts of like weird paranormal trouble yeah and so they returned it to the exact spot was inside of the building yeah what didn't it start like ringing it was ringing and it yeah. wasn't even attached to anything yeah i i remember that i remember that you showed me it mm -hmm. and um and so like the biggest thing that i can say to people is well, first, let me say that it's not common. It's not common at all that somebody buys something that potentially has something attached to it. So, you know, you can rest assured that for the most part, if you go to an antique shop, you know, and you pick out a dresser or a picture or, you know, a vase or whatever. It's probably not never had much significance even. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but if you're nervous about it, you know, cleanse it. You know, do, you know, leave it outside and get a thing of sage and, and, you know, just cleanse it, you know, with the sage. And, um, but if you are having an experience, you know, turn to whoever it is that you think has the knowledge behind them to be able to help you. Mm -hmm. And that's where people like me, you know, we come in, um, you know, as darkness falls paranormal we are a non-profit um you know we love to help people and we never charge so if there was ever a point where we got like you know somebody came to us and say hey this is happening in my house you know i need some sort of reassurance that we're not you know just crazy you know mm -hmm. we we want actual you know somebody else to experience it too donations are always nice donations are nice um and, and that's actually why we started twitch and our youtube channel is because you know at some point in the future we hope that you know we don't want to become rich off of it but um we do plan to travel kind of, maybe help have it kind of pay for itself yeah and so we we want to be able to help more people. And in order to help more people, we need that, what is it, that extra boost. Mm -hmm. um, because as it stands now, you know, the our ADFP is funded entirely by me and my husband. Um, which is, you know, it's good. You know, I don't mind. I, I we enjoy what we do. Um, <laughs> has, has, has anybody seen that movie what is it bridesmaids bridesmaids where the father goes i ain't paying for this shit <laughs> i definitely ain't paying for this shit <laughs> yeah and so um you know so you know that's why we started the youtube series and in the, the live stream and things like that not to make this about money because it's not um but you know that's that's kind of where we 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 went from there and the, the whole point of this is at some point we want to actually be able to help people you mm -hmm. know not just towns that have abandoned places that they want investigated or that we got permission to investigate 
Mm -hmm. I would love to help people that, you know, are families or someone living alone or someone that has a small private business is having an issue. Um, and e even like dropping a sub or some biddies on here would. Yeah, help a lot, help a lot. And I, some of the people that actually watch us on Twitch, um, I'll have to explain that some other time how to do stuff like that but there is uh if you scroll down on our profile page um there is a donate button and also amazon gives you a free sub oh yeah if you got prime yeah if you got amazon hit prime. us with that prime sub <laughs> but anyway so yeah so the the whole point of the youtube series and everything that we do is because we want to be able to outreach more mm -hmm. we want to try to reach more people and that includes traveling and um we're you know, kind of limited to like southern new hampshire and you know new england mid to east massachusetts in a realistic note yeah uh, we can travel down to pa if we really wanted to um and and if it was someone that was pleading for our help oh, you know yeah. I, I would i would sit, drop everything that i'm doing and i would run to them in a heartbeat and uh, like I said, we do not charge for our service. Uh, so if you need help, you know, please reach out to us. Uh, we do have an email. It's contact.adfp at adfp, uh, adfparanormal.org. I will actually put it in the... In allowing us to film would uh, obviously be of great benefit. Yeah. You know, and if you, do, if you have... You know personal things or yourself you don't want to be on camera you don't have to be yes yeah, yes so um, and your, or your your photos anything you don't want a, a camera at it's not going to happen then you don't worry about it yeah and like we have um I, I we already have done a private home um and how we did it the, the the person they said we don't mind that you film but what we want is um can you not get the pictures and any of the shots or can you blur them out we got a good video editing software yeah so. yeah i have probably one of the the more professional video software out there and um and so we, we're very respectful um and if you don't want us to do you know if you don't want so we record everything regardless but if you tell us that you do not want it up on youtube or you don't want it to be shown we will respect that Mm -hmm. um and as a matter of fact the only way that we put anything up on youtube is uh through writing so you know we we have a a, a signed consent form from you know whoever it is that you know yes i'm allowing you know you to, to film and put it up on youtube and you can always specify you know restrictions um but yeah so but back to the 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 divot boxes we just went off on a tangent um so you know I, it if you don't know what you're doing if you don't know how to cleanse that's where it becomes you know if you're not religious turn to people like us you know there's there's bound to be a paranormal research group in just about every area mm -hmm. you know it doesn't really matter where you live there's probably always going to be a paranormal researcher yeah uh, and reach out to them, you know, ask for help. Uh, I have recently, uh, and she may be in the room tonight, I'm not sure. Um, I recently started talking to someone from Texas. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, and, and her and I have been, so I am very pro um, collaboration. I don't see other investigators as, um, what do you call it, um, competition, mm -hmm. because in the reality it's not, you know, like, yeah, this person has their own YouTube channel, but that, that doesn't mean that we can't promote each other, you know, and it, to, to me, having other people, other investigators, that makes you more knowledgeable. Yeah. You know because then you see them and you see how they work they see how you work but i'm very very pro collaboration and um this this lady that i've been talking to she's been very nice 
Um, and she may be coming up here uh, sometime in November. And we may be doing a collab with her. But um, that's something that I'm not going to talk too, too much about. Only because I still have to, one, get the details. And we also just started talking not that long ago. But... <clears throat> You know that just goes to show you know she she lives in texas um and you know that she stopped by a food lion on her way up she stopped by a food <laughs> lion There's a couple things i know right <laughs> food lion is um a grocery chain grocery store chain down in north carolina yeah that whole general yeah. area yeah the southern it's grocery a, store yeah but, um, but yeah, so that, you know, that just goes to show that there are paranormal researchers in just about every area, um, and reach out to them, you know, like, you know, if, if you don't live in our recovery, you know, in the area that we, we, um, do stuff in, you know, reach out to somebody else or reach out to us still. And, you know, maybe we can point you in, in a, in a direction, uh, cause I have been collecting more contacts and things like that to you know be able to uh our, our bird one of our birds is, is saying hello <laughs> they've probably been hearing him he's been doing it for, like ever since i sat down very proud of himself yes right now. he is he's very very proud of himself you see how we get lost on tangents <laughs> you, you, but the, the, this is the thing this is what makes our show so interesting is we have okay four birds one of them is sitting behind uh my husband he hates with a passion to be handled mm -hmm. but if we're sitting here and well, or having anything near him yeah and so if we're sitting here he'd probably prefer you to even look at him <laughs> most likely no 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 because he likes you looking at him that's why he puffs up and so oh, this bird hates being handled does not want anybody to touch him but if you sit down, he will puff up because he's trying to make himself pretty. And he'll start saying hello and talking because he wants you to pay attention to him. But yet he doesn't. He doesn't want you to touch him. He doesn't him. want you to touch him. <laughs> and stay, then, stay at least three feet away. Stay yeah. at least three feet. <laughs> stay back. Stay back. Don't breathe on him. Don't, don't do anything. Don't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, no. This is this is how we get lost on tangents because we have uh, we have four birds and surrounded by these idiots. and a um a dog. Her name is Ellie. She's actually ADFP's mascot. Actually, that's there is. So we have ADFP ghost that you know you see on the 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 wall behind me, and above the the chat box, a little floating guy. So he right now is our mascot, but we're actually going to be commissioning to have Ellie done up as our new mascot, but kind of like all ghosty. Throw up a picture of her. Throw up a picture of her. I don't have any pictures. On the on your computer? Not that I can easily throw up. Damn it. You should, have, you should have that on hand always on hand on hand i mean i do i don't know why you don't but um yeah i, well, I probably have some on my phone but um yeah ellie ellie is our our little baby um makes life hectic but she's she's our our little mascot here she is That's our mascot. That's our little baby. She is such a brat, too. She gets everything that she wants. But, um... Yeah, so, back to the dibbit boxes. Yeah. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we keep getting lost on tangents. Sorry, everybody. I hope it, I hope it makes for an interesting show, though. But, um... So... Makes me wonder, though, with this, if something is gonna happen to it because it got hurt. broken not mad at me because i didn't do it fix it yep 
when when it came in when it's missing a piece when his altar came in in the in the photo it shows it complete but then when he got it in there was a piece missing off of the top and so what he was just saying is he wonders if the guy that sent it to him if something's going to happen to him because the altar was mishandled and he never got back to me that was a week ago oh geez yep wow so i guess i'll be filing a dispute i would mm -hmm. i'm not gonna let that go but um yeah the 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 and, and it's such a, a pretty altar maybe one of these days we'll do a, a show and tell and we'll we'll show you guys um around the studio and some of our you know private collections of um paranormal things but uh yeah so you know when it comes to to things that you know may you, if you feel that something is latched on to something you know please in all seriousness reach out to a person that you know you know you can trust that um you know can handle the situation and if you don't know you know you can always email us you know you always always you can email us and there will never be a point that we won't respond to an email you we usually give like 24 to 48 hours um but i'm usually a lot quicker than that uh, about responding to emails um but yeah so if you know if you feel if you feel unsafe you know reach out don't be uh, afraid to, to talk to us um i think that's about it yeah well what else to say really no uh, you know besides our birds yeah we got Magoo in the background saying, hello, hello. Being a weirdo. Yeah, always a weirdo. Our kids are all just, every one of them are weird. Every one of them. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, as always, it was fun talking about random stuff. Oh, yeah. And um, if you could, you know, like I said, well, like he, Mike said, there is a donate button down below. Free um, Prime sub doesn't cost you anything. You're already paid for it with your uh, Prime subscription. Yep. Um, down there also is uh, we where we get our music. Um, I have been asked that question before because I have music that plays in the background and the the starting soon screen music um i have that down there there is also a contact us button a schedule button the um link to our youtube channel and our twitter account as well as our facebook mm -hmm. um is all down there and f i do publish these on youtube every monday at 5 p.m um so for those that are watching after the fact on what YouTube, up, please. What up, VOD gang? <laughs> and please like, subscribe, and comment on our videos because, you know, believe it or not, that that little bit does help. Uh, it helps with the YouTube algor uh, algorithm, algorithm. Yep. And getting, um, you know, us noticed a little bit more. And the more people that we have that are subscribing to us, the more people that, you know, we can hopefully reach. And, our goal as ADFP is to eventually help, you know, people, help towns that, you know, may have issues with people breaking into places because they're supposedly haunted. Um, you know, tell your friends, tell your grandma, you know, spread the good word of the channel. Yeah, yeah, spread the word, spread the word. So again, thank you everybody for joining us. We will see you all. Um, and I think Madame Marissa will be with us next Sunday. Who knows? Uh, so we will see you all next Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we thank you again. Goodbye, everyone. Good night.